Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to factory reset, so back to the default settings, the Genexus Fiber Customer Premises Equipment. So this is for a fiber to the premises service where you don't have a phone line or a, a DSL like copper pair coming into the house. And this router is a Genexus DRG7820 and uh, for useful stuff in the future, edit, uh, changing the settings on it, the username and password is on the sticker on the back. They also provide it on two stickers which come inside the box that the router comes in as well. And also, obviously, the wireless details are on that and on the sticker as well. So in this instance, the default IP address is 192.168.1.254 but for the purpose of the demonstration I've changed the IP address and then I've forgotten what the IP address is. So over here on the computer I'm pinging what should be the IP address of the router but I've accidentally forgotten what the IP address is or set the IP address wrong and uh, DHCP is switched off so I can't find out automatically just straight from the router what the IP is. So get your reset and eject tool which is often known as a bent paper clip or some other pointy device and on the side next to the WPS button is a small hole just there that you need to put your reset and eject tool into and hold it down. So I held it down for five seconds and all the lights flashed and then they went out. And now the power light is flashing. The wireless light has now just come on. And there we are. If you can see on the computer screen behind, we're now getting a reply from the default IP address in the default configuration of this particular router of 192.168.1.254. So that's how you factory reset this Genexus router. You hold down the reset button until all of the lights flash and then you can release the reset button and your router will go back to factory settings. If you found this video useful it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the new video notifications on but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.